Vincent's line out with Dara Perry in goals. Rory Trainer, the captain of the side at corner back. Jack Collins at centre back with Graham Giblin and Ushin Lanigan at midfield. Up front, the McBrides of Rian and Keane will be certainly ones to watch out for, for Vincent's. Rahini, well, as we know, they are the new boys in Senior Hurling Championship this season, and they start with Patrick Bradshaw in goals. Connor Henry, David Henry and Greg Bennett are the experience at the back, while up-and-coming Owen Smith at midfield. Sean Dempsey captains the side at centre-forward, and Owen Kyo and Simon Dignan up front will be the ones hoping to get the scores. It's well won there by Ben McHugh. Across the centre, he lays this one, and Owen Smith, promising young hurler, goes forward with this one, on towards the 45. Delightful hand pass off as far as Sean Dempsey, the captain of the Rahini side, and that isn't a bad start for them. Sean Dempsey with the opening score of the game, three minutes in. Great run in by, by uh, Owen Smith, who, who will have a good game today, I reckon, and a good score there. Has support and uh, plenty of maroon and white, but they've given that one away through Kevin O'Gara. A bit of nerves here and an opportunity. Brilliant block goes in. Second attempt now. It's Colin Griblin. The shot well stopped again and cleared by Eamon Fitzgerald. Well, that was a real goal chance there, were it not for a fine block, a couple of fine blocks in the build up to it. It looked as though Graham Giblin was going to score. Bit of a tight angle, so he opts to take it across the centre but it's Rahini battling for it, but the breaking ball is well scooped up into the hand. Back again towards Moore on this near sideline. Moore strikes this one. That looks to be good, and it is from St. Vincent's. Alan Moore gets his first point of this year's Senior Hurling Championship, and that a fine score. And again, the hooking and blocking that we're seeing from both sides. That's a poor clearance and an opportunity here for a second score of the afternoon, which has gone in and just about gone over the crossbar, but just about is good enough from the stick of Michael Grinham at midfield. Down the far side, good ball, finds Simon Dignan in a bit of space, back across the centre, Ger Cody, Cody from midway between the 45 and 21, that's a very good score, and they ain't playing like a team who's playing their first ever game at Senior Championship. And Alan Moore just about holds on to possession of it, pops the pass up near side towards that right, Rian McBride, and McBride sends that one in, the umpires have a look at it, and decide that it's gone to the left-hand side and wide, and McBride just calling the referee. They're looking for Hawkeye, which uh, isn't an operation here in Parallel Park, but that was tight. I have to say, it looked like there's a score from here now, but um, again, Reen would have been expecting a score from there. I mean, that certainly looks to be oh, inside the uprights, and I think the linesman has uh, come in to talk to the referee, and that's good officiating, in fairness, from the linesman. Throwing ball, gathered by Vincent, and they play this one towards this near side and again they're looking for it and it's Chris McGarry just can't control it and again you see Rahini in there putting pressure on a St Vincent's player but McGarry gathers it at the second attempt and the referee has said he's been fouled on the way through so this is an opportunity here's an opportunity then for Connor Burke to get uh, put Vincent's into the lead for the first time in this game it would be it's at a tight enough angle, and he has struck that one, and it looks to be good between the uprights, and it is. And Connor Burke with his second three of the afternoon, brought away now by Rory Trainer. And Trainer across on that uh, far side towards McBride again. And McBride launching this one inside, and danger here, and an opportunity. It's into the net, Keen McBride. And there we see the benefit of what they've been trying to do in the opening half, the benefit of a two-man full forward line paying off on that stage. It's been a while since they scored. They've conceded a goal and three points without reply since the last Rahini score as this one is sent near side. And again, it's won by Keen McBride. A goal to his name so far. Make that a goal and a point now as McBride gets, I suppose, the benefit of that inside forward line and the pinpoint ball that's gone into him it's beginning to take its toll inside there now and comes away with this one now to Richie Judge further up the centre of the field towards Ger Cody and the referee has said a child, uh, shoulder on the chest of Ger Cody which Vincent don't agree with and as I say they've conceded a goal and four points since their last score so they could do with something just to stop the St. Vincent's 
Rampage here as Owen Smith launches that one. That looks better, though. It is, and it is the first point for Owen Smith from midfield from the free 1-6-4. The trying to get Kean McBride into it. He does well to hold on to it. Falls against the advertising hoarding, doing what he can to keep it in play as Conor Burke strikes this one. It looks to be good. That's a very good score from Conor Burke. It switched from the far side to this near side, and Conor Burke takes a very good point. Off to Conor Burke, who scored four. Three from freeze inside towards goal scorer Kean McBride. And McBride is on the uh, charge again. He's through. Has he taken a few too many steps? Pulls on it. The referee has said it's a free in. The goal won't count. The whistle had blown just before the ball was put to the back of the net. But the referee has awarded a free in. And this probably the easiest of all of them so far as Conor Burke makes no mistake, as you would expect, and extends the St. Vincent's lead 1-9 to four points, an eight-point lead now. Back in his own half-back line. He's got gears, and McBride sets off on a run towards the attacking 45. Hand pass finds Sean McCaw, and McCaw from wing-back on the shoulder. That's a very good score from Sean McCaw. Yeah, great run again from Ray McBride up the left-hand side. Uh, slipped the ball inside, an easy score then. And St. Vincent's sending a couple of substitutes to warm up, as we just saw on shot there, as uh, here comes Brian Bulger now trying to capitalise on the puck out as Bulger strikes that one in. That looks to be good. It has crept inside the left-hand upright and Brian Bulger gets his first point of the game. An opportunity from a long way out for Rian McBride. Sends this one in and sends it over the crossbar. Fine score from Rian McBride. Back across the centre, finds the man in space. And that man in space is... Number 14, that is Owen Kyo, who takes on his man again and is fouled this time, says the referee. And that foul conceded by Rian McBride. Owen Smith then with this free, midway between the 21 and 45. He's put it in and put it over the crossbar. That is his third point, all from freeze. So that is now a nine-point game as we approach the midway point of the second half, going pretty much along expected lines. A nine-point lead here for St. Vincent's, but Owen Smith is again running at Vincent's here and has an opportunity from 45 out. That is a very good score from Owen Smith. He's fourth of the afternoon and he's first from play. Plays it forward towards Sean Dempsey, the captain, who strikes this one in. It's going to look good. It is Sean Dempsey putting it between the uprights. Second point of the game. And, well... Seven points now, the gap. Good ball in, but a great score over his shoulder, running away from goal, and they'll be very happy with that. Rian McBride, hand pass further now. Here's a chance for Connolly. It's in, and he's blazed it over the crossbar. He was uh, going for power. So point for Connolly, and back with play already. Owen Smith plays this one forward. Up it goes now, dropping in around the 21, and it is Shane Bell who tried to win possession of it away from him, though. And it's Vincent who come away with it, but that's good pressure inside there by Shane Bell and Fergal Smith, who's just on the field, and they've won a free for over carrying. Might be going for it here, Owen Smith. His side trailing by seven at the moment. Here comes Owen Smith. He picks it and strikes it, goes for goal. It bounces, and it's not gone out of play. It's kept in play. And Rahini come back and still have possession of it now with uh, Sean Dempsey. Very tight towards the sideline, back across the centre of the field it goes, but uh, it's Vincent's who come away with this one now. And they're looking to build an attack from well inside their own half. Ball played inside now, gathered by Kean McBride. McBride takes on his man, onto 13, shot for McBride, oh, what a goal! Super finish from Kean McBride, and that is game, set, match. What could have been a goal at one end, they went for it. Kean McBride with a super finish. As this ball is sent forward from Sean McCaw, Dropping inside again, and here's an opportunity now and a chance for Tomas McGrain. And McGrain gets the third goal of the game for St. Vincent's. Yeah, no chance for the goalie. Poacher instincts there for Mossy to, to get in behind after breaking ball and finish it really well. A good result. You start it slowly, you finish really well. But I suppose, what are you going to take from this? What are you going to learn? Yeah, I suppose it was a sluggish start. Um, we always knew it was going to be like that, heavy pitch. Rahini were going to bring everything, so we're just happy to get out. Well, you want to get through the fourth round, and that's the main thing. We got the result in the end, so we're happy enough with that now. Rahini gave you space between all and the next round. That won't happen. What are the little niggles, I suppose, are the things you'd be working upon for the next one? Yeah, just a bit more uh, consistency, I suppose. We drifted in and out of the game. We were in it maybe 
took us five or ten minutes to get going. We were in the den for 15 minutes. We died a little bit then before half time. So just getting that consistency throughout the, the hour.